Friday the 3rd of July 1992 saw the release of the Super Nintendo here in Australia and you will not believe what I did to get one of these things. So for me to talk about the release of the uh, Super Nintendo here in Australia, I have to go back to 1991 when I found a great import store here in Brisbane along Rody Road, Chermside. Um, the store was owned by a guy named Andrew and he had the Super Nintendo from Japan in his shop. You could buy it, he had them all hooked up to monitors, you pay like $5 for uh, playing the games for a half an hour. And that was my first experience of the Super Nintendo and any of the Super Mario games, which was really cool. And I loved playing the, that game in his store. Um, to buy the Japanese Super Nintendo, that was $699. So it was way out of my price range. I just had to wait until the Super Nintendo got an official release here in Australia. Now, there was a two-year gap between the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo. The uh, Mega Drive got released in 1990 and the Super Nintendo was 1992. So Sega had really made a massive uh, market share here in Australia. I think it was up to 80% a market share they had opposed to what Nintendo had and even Atari. Atari was still there with the 2600 at a budget price, but Sega really reigned supreme here in Australia. And at that time, Mattel Toys was running things. It wasn't Nintendo itself. Uh, and that's why the release of the Super Nintendo here in Australia was, was much later than the UK because of that fact that Nintendo wasn't running things by themselves. It was Mattel. And they really had an uphill battle against Sega because Sega has so many great games released over those two years. Uh, and for Nintendo to try and crawl their way back, it wasn't easy, and especially uh, at release of the uh, Super Nintendo. So the Super Nintendo was released here on July the 3, 1992, and it retailed for $299.95. Now, what I did to get the Super Nintendo was, I came across a store in Brisbane, and it was in the Brisbane CBD. There was a lot of independent gaming stores back then. And this was a new store, it was a small store, and it was across the road from MacArthur Chambers up in the Queen Street Mall, just across the road from there. And they had something really novel that none of the other stores here in Brisbane did. And they had trade-ins where you could go trade in your games or consoles for whatever you needed in their store. And it was a real novelty. It was something that I had never experienced before. And I got this brilliant idea to take my master system and probably about, I think it was all my games apart from two. I did keep two games. Uh, I took probably about 28 games and traded it in on the release of the Super Nintendo. I can't believe I did that, but I did. And I, I, I didn't regret it back then uh, when I got the Super Nintendo. So I take, took it in the store and they going through everything. Uh, I remember the salesman talking to his manager and they pretty much came over to me and said, this is a, a straight swap for the Super Nintendo. I had accumulated enough credit to, to pick up a Super Nintendo based on what I traded in. And I was so happy about that, bringing it home um, with the uh, Super Mario world being able to play that on my TV at home was really great. Uh, the release of the Super Nintendo here in Australia, um, there was ad campaigns. I think the TV ad was, uh, now you're playing with superpower. Uh, there was news stories in magazine print, uh, the gaming magazines as well, that kind of you know tried to help uh, sales of this thing, but it was a real uh, struggle to begin with for uh, Nintendo to, to, to to sell this thing here in Australia. And it wasn't a really good lineup. There was only a couple of games. It wasn't until the uh, following year that we saw uh, Link to the Past, I think Mario Kart, uh, Star Wing, and there was a few other games here that really did pick up the momentum, especially when Street Fighter 2 came out here in Australia. That was just like, wow, because it was like an arcade perfect port. Uh, Sega didn't have that one at that stage. so. And you, there, there was so many massive Street Fighter 2 fans here in Australia and that really did push the sales of the um, Super Nintendo and you know made it more of an even playing field here in Australia. So I 
that's how I got my Super Nintendo on the release. I tried it in all those games and the Master System. And at, at first, I was really happy with that. I didn't regret it, but probably within two months, I'm like, what have I done? Because, it, like I said, there was, there was a lack of games coming out that I wanted. Um, so, what do I do? I, I go and buy another Master System and try to, you know, get the collection back. And I think I recollected everything, only to, years later, sell it all off. And here I am in 2021, still rebuilding this collection. I'm never going to get rid of that one again. But that's how I got the Super Nintendo. I tried it in my Master System and all those games. Two games I kept. You should know what they are if you've been a long time subscriber. But it was crazy times back then, and you know, I didn't really talk much about it in the uh, video. I talked about the Mega Drive, but you know, um, the releases here in Australia was a big deal, especially for us gamers. Not like today; it's all mainstream. Everybody's a gamer. But back then, it was still a niche market for those of us who played games. We were really excited to to get these new consoles. And um, nothing much has changed over the years, except for it's just growing bigger and bigger. Um, it's it's there's more hype now. I feel, where as opposed to back in those days, because it was still a niche market. Um, you know, if you're a gamer, we we knew we wanted it. We knew what it was going to come out and what the price was. It was none of this stuff. Pre-orders didn't exist. Uh, we didn't have to worry about running out of stock. But that's how I got it just by trading in all those Master System games and a Master System. So, yeah, until next time, guys, bye.